my name is uh, Frank Lyons, and I'm here to tell you what if you discover that something you have been taught since childhood was completely wrong. What if more than 5 billion people on the planet were able to prove this? Humankind has been drinking milk and all things dairy for thousands of years. Of course, cavemen were not milking cows. But when it came to when animal domestication came about, so did dairy. And we're all taught the wonders of dairy. You, you want strong bones, drink milk. You want a good source of protein, drink milk. You want something good for dunking your cookies in, milk and cookies, drink milk. And how are we able to dispel the truths of Heidi Klum, Martha Stewart, Frank Nunez, Wolverine? All wearing milk mustaches. For me, about three year, until about three years ago, I wore a milk mustache too. Uh, growing up, a glass of milk we had to drink at dinner every evening, my siblings and I. Uh, we weren't allowed to leave the dinner table until our glass of milk was. was out. But on September 12, 2017, I ate my last cheesy burrito. I was advised to watch two separate films, What the Health and Cowspiracy, and I watched them, and I thought these were vegan propaganda films. So I quickly did my research, and there was no way around it. Uh, the research is out there. I, I became vegan. So, within six weeks being vegan, I mean, I lost 25 pounds, and I wiped away my milk mustache. So, let's quickly wipe away one big myth, that we need milk to survive. We need milk to build strong bones. We, and for a while, I thought calcium, right, came from, came from milk. Um, you might, have, might as well have called it calcium. Right, but it turns out that calcium is the fifth most abundant element on the earth, um, on the earth's crust, right? And so, how does the calcium get to the cow? So, the calcium's in the soil, um, it grows, it goes into the plant, the cow eats the plant, the plant, or right, then the calcium goes through the mammary glands, and out comes milk, right? And that's how. You get the calcium in milk. So it turns out that the cow is actually in the middle man. Right? But what if I told you that there is more dense, more calcium dense things on this planet other than milk? And they are plant based. And every, all of them are plant based. Right? Dark leafy greens, chia seeds, flax seeds. Um, and other nuts and seeds such as almond, soy, oh, and then I start doing more research, and one thing was for sure, the countries with the highest dairy consumption have the highest forms of osteoporosis, and they are Sweden, Norway, Finland, UK, and the United States, and the countries with the lowest dairy consumption have the lowest forms of osteoporosis. And what am I trying to say? That I, because milk is produced in all 50 states, there's over 40,000 dairy farms, right? Am I trying to put dairy farmers out of business? No. But just in 2019, 2,731 dairy farms were out of business. And this was correlated to America's new obsession with plant-based milk. The dairy industry has felt envy, and the plant-based milk industry is quickly creeping in. Uh, for example, Miyoko's Creamery makes butter and cheese alternatives with plant-based ingredients. And the one thing that they have been doing is helping the dairy farms that have been going out of business Helping, they're helping those dairy farmers keep their farms and helping them transition into plant-based farms to help their creamery. 
right? He was uh, there helping them grow legumes, potatoes, uh, cashews, and other things that they can use for their for their products. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to dismantle the USDA, but I think we can make a difference one class at a time. So, what I'd like to advise is next time you want to drink a glass of milk is to pour that milk down the drain, go to the grocery store, and get some plant-based milk. Because they make for some good milk mustaches too.